Hurricane season started officially June 1st. We haven't had a storm yet, and this is really the latest start of the hurricane season we've seen since 2014. That year, we didn't have our first named storm, and it was Arthur until uh, July 1st, 2014. Now, why has that been the case? Well, it's the pattern just hasn't been conducive for tropical development. Now, this time of the year, where do you look for development? Three main basins, Gulf of Mexico, Northwest Caribbean, Southeast coast of the United States. It has nothing to do with water temperatures, by the way, the reason that we haven't had any activity. Water temperatures are well above where they should be. It's warm enough for development anyway, but it's even warmer than the historical averages here. This is our ocean temperature anomaly. You start getting into the orange and yellows, that means the water temperature temperature is above normal, so it has nothing to do with that. Here's the problem, and this is the problem this time of the year. We usually have too much dry air and too much wind shear across the Atlantic Basin, and you can see both here on the water vapor loop. First of all, you can see all the dry air denoted by the yellow shading across the tropical Atlantic, so all these tropical waves that are coming off Africa doesn't matter, too much dry air. Also dry air right now in the Gulf of Mexico and off the southeast coast of the United States, and there's a lot of wind shear. Winds coming in out of the west, southwest, or out of the west across the entire Atlantic Basin. So, this is normal. This is why you don't see tropical development for the most part. So, you need something to overcome these obstacles. And how you overcome this obstacle is when you get the jet stream to come south, right? It's the interaction between the jet stream and the tropics that can start tropical development by this uh, dip in the jet stream bringing upper level lows or fronts over the warm water. Then you can get showers and thunderstorms to develop. And if low pressure could sit there with those showers and thunderstorms for a minimum of 48 hours, you could overcome the wind shear and the dry air to get tropical development. Now, look what's gonna happen later this week. We're going to get this energy across Texas. That's going to dive south and southeast. What is that, what is that going to do? Eventually produce what? This dip in the jet stream, and it's dip in the jet stream that may produce the process of showers and thunderstorms, and that's why we have a low probability for development in the Gulf of Mexico late this week.